Hi everyone from the internet world. Uh, this is Jessica Baba. I changed my name from Jessica Class Baba to just Jessica Baba. Uh, it's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty simple. You know, it's easier to remember that way. I'm Jessica, and Baba is my fan. But first of all, my nickname. So yes, Baba is my nickname, and I do not name objects like my van so I decided to call it Baba what an easy thing so it just makes sense to me I call myself Jessica Baba so um, why am I doing a video you must be wondering why the hell is she doing a video it's been so long it's been very long uh, five weeks ago I moved in another van with uh, another guy and his dog um, it was fun, it was exciting, I was promised to go around the world in that van. How exciting is that? So I, I agreed. I agreed to that crazy idea because I want to do something like crazy like this in my life, at least once in my life, so I just went for it, 100% committed to the situation, and so I moved in his van, which feels like it was half the size of my van. You could imagine I had to downsize, um, and you can imagine that it did not work out because I am filming you from the inside of my mom's house, which is kind enough to let me live in one of the bedrooms that she has in the house while I'm trying to transition back in my van that did not sell, thank God. Yes, I had to sell my van, and then the money from the van would have brought me around the world, you know, like... More savings for myself, more fun to go around the world. But right now, Van didn't sell, so I'm going back in Baba. Before I do that, I'm gonna work on Baba because I was in Baba for three years straight, and that's the first time she's empty to the bone. So I will paint cupboards, uh, I will silicone parts that needs to be silicone properly. Um, I want to do like the tire swap, like I just want to give it a little bit extra love um, since she's empty. So yeah, just saying, um, so I had to downsize, so that means I have less stuff to move back in Baba, which is great. Um, I've realized in the five weeks I was living with this guy that I was okay with living in a, in a van that small with somebody else and a dog, I was okay. So. I, you could call me an, not an extreme minimalist, but I don't mind it. I don't know if any smaller I could have deal with it, but I'm pretty sure I would have because I adapt to a lot of things really quickly. I like change. Some people don't like to change their routine. I didn't mind it. It was exciting. It was new, right? New experience is always fun, but it's not so fun when they fail and you end up heartbroken and you can't go around the world anymore. But at least I tried. Uh, if I said no to do that trip, um, I would have regretted it my whole life, knowing that I couldn't have the chance to go. But now I don't have to regret anything I did, even if it don't, did not work out. Yes, yes, I was heartbroken. It's been three days now. Um, I moved on pretty quick from that one. Uh, what can I do? Just move on. So because I am trying to move on the best I can, I've decided to go uh, south for a month. So I might be ending up in California and Arizona. I've got many fans at this moment that wants to connect with me, go for hikes, um, show me areas where I can park my van, where they park. Um, so that's going to be very interesting and awesome because a lot of you guys that follow me have been following me for at least a whole three years, so that's pretty cool. I like it because we have that little connection. When I post a picture, or you post a picture. We on Instagram mostly. Uh, it's nice to share comments or see what you do with your life. Um, so yeah, stuck in my mom's. Uh, right, right behind me here. This is all my stuff that was in the van, in his van. You can see I do not have much. Uh, I did lose my original mattress. I had to put it in his van because his was kind of shitty. So I put my own mattress in his van. I had to cut it shorter because his was a little bit smaller. 
so now that mattress that was brand new cannot go back in Baba. So I lost that. You know, I lost little things there and there because we kind of adjusted like, oh, you have this, I can't get rid of mine. Which one has better quality? Uh, so we tried to, to accommodate really quick our new lifestyle. And so we did. But after five weeks, he just had a meltdown because apparently he couldn't do all this the tiny space stuff. Um, I don't blame him. He tried. I tried. I liked it. He didn't like it. It's not for everyone. Yeah. So I'm out of work for now. Uh, just because it's winter and I'm a bicycle mechanic. Bicycles don't really get fixed a lot in the winter time. So I'm off work. Uh, should probably go back to work in spring. Um, so that's why I decided to go down in the States for a month. Just to have some sun and no rain because I mean Vancouver is beautiful it does not get as cold as the rest of Canada but that rain and then getting dark at 4 30 it's just like you're like oh my god when is this gonna reverse and go you know it never never comes fast enough winter sucks for me it sucks I love biking I do not like um snow activities it's just because I'm from Quebec and there was a lot of snow there and I I um, quickly understood that uh, snow was not good because you gotta shovel it, you gotta deal with it, there's ice forming, if you commute to work it's hell, and then salt, and then, yeah, accidents, yeah, it's not good. So I like it nice and dry and easy and sunny. I, I mean, I have been in BC for 18 years, and I think in all those 18 years, I left five times for a month. I still have to go through all these winters. It's pe people get the winter blues. I don't. I don't think I really get it, but it, it's just that I bike, and then when it's pouring rain, and you have to bring back your gears in the van all wet, it's just never. It never dries. Condensation forms. I hate condensation. Condensation is my enemy. It's the hardest thing to remove in a van in Vancouver. In Vancouver, we have all the rain, all the humidity. It's all in my van. Yeah. So yeah, I just wanted to do an update on my life. Um, life, life is good. It's good for you, it's good for me. Life should be good. So if it's not good, you're doing something wrong. Stop fighting. Just stick it, stick it, take a step back, and then see what's good right now in your life, and that should uh, bring you on the right track. Do not fight for the things that you want that don't work. If I fought for the things that I want that don't work, I'd still be fighting, and I'd still be upset, and I'd still be obsessing on that while I can move on and do something else that's much more fun much more relaxing and more like self-care and all that stuff blah 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 basically uh, alright well thanks for watching and uh, let me know if this is a okay video um, I can do more like this yeah I'll try <laughs> okay bye